At Cancer Partners UK, we are using a breath hold technique, which is used primarily for left-sided breast cancer patients. The technique is simple and easy for the patient to use. The patient is in control of the system at all time. At no point are they forced to hold their breath. To administer the deep intubation breath hold technique, we ask the patient to wear a mouthpiece which is attached to a spirometer. It doesn't look dissimilar to a snorkel mouthpiece and they simply just breathe in and out. They also wear a set of visual display goggles which show a screen with a very simple traffic light system indicating when they need to breathe and hold their breath and then breathe away normally. The breath hold technique is suitable for approximately 95% of left-sided breast cancer patients. It's also a suitable technique to use for lung cancer patients and abdominal cancer patients with obviously the benefits being slightly different. First of all, we give uh, good results when it comes to the cancer cure rates, but patients live long and it is important that ray therapy would not cause any late-term problems. If the heart will get some radiation, patients may get angina, heart attacks, and by giving this technique, uh, we can prevent those problems. First I heard about it was my first appointment with my consultant when he was talking to me about radiotherapy. Um, so that was towards the end of my chemotherapy when I had the first meeting with him and he explained what to expect and then explained that there was an option for me to try the, um, this technique. The main patient concerns regarding the breath hold technique are more to do with what would happen if they can't manage the technique. Most of the patients are sort of obviously a little bit concerned about the claustrophobia, having something in their mouth and also whether they'll be able to be in control of that breathing. And because it's a very simple system for them to use and they are in control, when they hold their breath the treatment is turned on, when they breathe out it's turned off, it's as simple as that. I was appraised of everything that was going to happen to me. I could ask questions whenever I wanted to. If I had a bad day, and I'd, I had one day where I just I couldn't get the breath holding right because I thought I was coming down with a cold, they were extremely patient, they gave me plenty of time and that's, that was my experience of the whole thing, was that they had time to spend on me. Patients that are claustrophobic, patients with asthma worry especially, but again their fears are relayed as soon as they get into the centre with a radiographer side by side with them. It is all quite a lot to deal with. Um, I did find it quite difficult at first uh, and found it really quite traumatic and then I realised I could do it and I found it so much easier the second time and then by my last session of using the apparatus I was a pro. I could do it really well. Deeper intubation breath hold is such a simple technique to use for the patient that I'm surprised it's not more widely used across the UK. The long-term health benefits for these patients are outstanding. We are reducing their side effects to their heart and their long-term benefit and lifelong benefits from that speak for themselves.